Test game. All right, let's get this going. Sure, don't care. Why, is it on my desktop? It's somewhere. I'll just make a new one, just so we can get this started. Okay. So. Usually when you're a new person, you would see all this stuff and you had no idea where to start. Great. Awesome. Um. Huh. Okay, disclaimer. What I'm about to do is absolute bare bones basic and again i am a strong believer of strong foundations equal strong finish so i will be teaching the bare bones basics of everything and i really mean bare bones the only thing i can't seem to remember right now i'm having a brain fart is uh the character selection screen so i apologize for that one but uh Starting off at this tab, I think these are pretty self-explanatory. Use story mode to activate story mode. Use versus mode, it uses versus mode. Uses versus team mode, it's two on two, usually. You can do something stupid on uh, story mode and then have like eight on eight. It's kind of funny. I'm not going to do that here. The editor won't read the game file. Oh. Hit junctions first then? Absolutely not. <laughs> um my editor may look different from yours only because i don't remember where i got mine but anyway the editor won't read the game file that's for protection a lot of people don't like it when their uh games get revealed or reversed engineered i can respect that and you should respect that too I know there was a guy um, who kept begging us in the site that it's okay to reverse engineer something as long as it's for educational purposes, but we were not comfortable with helping him. So I just respect the creator's wishes. If they do not want you going through their files, then do not go through their files. If you do, do not bring us with you. That's all we ask. Numbers are shown on life. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Cursor stays until the game starts. Again, self-explanatory. The demo select. This works in conjunction with the demos file, which we will get there. Demos are basically wherever you just put cutscenes, movies, whatever. There are certain tricks that I use in my game that are demos that are not demos. Like, I have a full opening in my game, which I should have demonstrated, which I forgot. But that's basically all that a demo is. It's just weird name for game screens, yeah. Uh, movies are not actually movies in 2D FM. They are nothing more than pictures, which in 2D FM, if you think of everything as you are making a picture move, again, concepts become a lot easier. Because that's all you're really doing. How do I get a picture to move from point A to point B? Or how do I get picture A to switch to picture B? Basics. Think of everything as simple as possible. So right now I, I don't have any demos created. Um, so I'm just telling you that this is where you would select your demos. You would create your demos here, then you go to game systems and pick it. Your stiff time, uh, I call it hit decay. Basically, when uh, Ryu hits someone, time slows down for a bit, so you have options, you have more reaction time to do your combo. So when something hits, there's 30 frames that it will stop. If someone guards, there are 30 frames, it will stop. If offset is a funny one, I like using it for uh, flashes. If you're familiar with Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, any, most, any anime fighter, when two attacks clash, like to Ragna and Jin, their swords clash, it's, uh, it's going to cause a stop in time. That's what this offset is. But you have to click offset in order for that to work. And Kisuke, you actually just brought up a good point. The, he said 30 game ticks is roughly one third of a second. Uh, I call them frames, game ticks, whatever you want to call them. 
he is absolutely right. 100 frames is roughly one second, and that is a very useful thing to know. Moving on, we got our basic script. This is where you would put in your hit combo numbers, hit, offset hit mark, this. This stuff, I want to say, is just... I'll probably put something in here just to get it going, but this stuff is actually not required, despite you know, being in the game system script. Your game will run perfectly fine without any of these, as I will demonstrate. Hit junctions. You will get very intimate with this tab. You will be touching it a lot. You will be going in it a lot. And I will stop with the dirty jokes. Um, this is where you're going to set all the hit, uh, hit junctions for your characters. So these are default ones. I'm just going to use the default ones for tonight. Weak stand, weak crouching, weak sky. So their hit animation when they get hit while standing, hit animation while crouching, hit animation while under in the sky, etc., etc. I don't know what it translated for you guys, but this check mark for doing, it was a nifty little thing I didn't know about before, but let's say you do a low sweep, but they guarded high, meaning the sweep should connect. If you do if you put the reaction as block. When crouching, they're going to block. So you actually put the attack, but if you just put the attack, the animation will play, but it will consider them blocking. So you click doing, and once you put that attack reaction, it will read it as a low. It's very helpful. Pro tip, anything you add to that tab prior to creating the character will be auto-loaded in the character. Anything created after you make the character file, you have to add the character manually. That is absolutely true. Um, I decided for my own sanity, I did everything manually. It took me a long time, but hey, I got there. Common images. You Traditionally, not traditionally. From the resources I've read, it's made for throws or just some kind of uh, animations that are similar to throws. At least that's what I read in Mag Launcher's uh, tutorial book, which actually I don't know if it's in the Discord. If it is not, that should definitely be linked there. Yes, it is what the RC uses. Um, I personally don't like it, so I don't use it. Character selection, picture, we're going to skip that. Okay. So, characters, nothing, because I didn't create a character. Okay, cool, it is there. So, those of you watching and people who will be watching this on YouTube, I highly recommend reading that tutorial. It's very useful. I learned a lot from it, and it is definitely invaluable. Ugh. I don't know how I don't speak English. I speak English, no speaky. It is a very useful resource. Um, stages, pretty simple. This BGM thing, useless. Absolutely useless. I don't know why it's in here. I, I could not, no one in this whole world got this thing to work. Not even, I, every game I've seen, this BGM thing just does not work. So, so your music is going to come through the script area. And then demos, same thing, basic script.